Hello everyone, welcome back to Anshul Gupta MD. Today I am going to delve into the world of gut health. Yes, if you want your body to be in good health and good shape, then you need to improve your gut health. And did you know that the key to gut health lies in the food that you eat? And today I'm going to share with you the ultimate list of foods which are best for your gut health, especially giving you these prebiotic rich foods. So if you want to improve your gut health, then please listen to your videos about the importance as well as dangers of eating certain foods. But before we move forward, I would like you to take some time to like and subscribe to my channel so you keep on getting this wonderful information in the future also. So let's get started. Let's first talk about prebiotics. You might have heard of probiotics. Now probiotics are fermented foods or live bacteria that lives in your gut. We have trillions of good bacteria that lives in the gut and we need constant supply of this good bacteria through fermented foods like yogurts, like kimchi, like sauerkraut, like kombuchas. Every traditional culture world over have probiotic foods in them. But do you know that these probiotic foods, these live bacteria also need certain kinds of food so they can live in your gut and these are called prebiotics. Yes, prebiotics are food that actually feeds the good bacteria in your gut and they are very very important so that your gut health is in good shape. Now, most people need a constant supply of probiotic bacteria in their gut. The reason is that we are not giving them good quality prebiotic rich foods so they are starving in your gut. So that's the reason it is very important to eat prebiotic rich foods. So let's talk about what are the benefits that research shows of these prebiotic foods. But in the end, I'm going to share with you dangers of prebiotics and for whom, for which people prebiotics are not a good choice. But let's first talk about the importance of prebiotic foods. So the very first benefit of prebiotic rich foods is that they improve your digestive health. A lot of people are complaining of various problems like indigestion, gas, bloating, IBS like symptoms. And these are because of poor digestive health. Research shows that prebiotics feed the good bacteria as well as improves the immunity of the gut and also supports the digestive health of your gut. So that's the first benefit. The second benefit is that prebiotic also improves the immunity of the gut. Now, most people do not know that 70% of the immunity in our body actually lies in our gut. So if you want to stay away from any infections or any diseases, especially we are entering into the season of cold and flu, then you need to improve your gut health. And prebiotics can improve your immune function of your gut health by secreting something called short chain fatty acids. These short chain fatty acids are very important for the immunity of the gut. So that's the reason prebiotics can improve your immunity. The third thing prebiotics can also do is they rebalance your gut microbiome thereby they actually improve your constipation or diarrhea problems. Several people are complaining of either constipation or diarrhea and these prebiotic foods can actually improve your microbiome and make your bowel movements more regular. So you see these are all the benefits of prebiotic foods that you need to know about today so you can start consuming them. Now let's talk about the list of prebiotic foods and all the benefits they have for your gut health. The first food which is high in prebiotics is bananas. The bananas often do not get the limelight they need because of the high sugar content. But what people do not know is that only the ripe bananas have very high sugar content. But if you're eating green bananas or unripe bananas, they are very very high in prebiotics. The prebiotic in bananas is called inulin. One banana can have up to between 3 to 5 grams of inulin in them, which is a pretty good amount in one particular food. It was shown in a research study in 2020 that people who are consuming these bananas on a regular basis, their prebiotic levels are high in their gut. And what these prebiotics levels did was that they actually protected their gut against the bad bacteria and bad viruses and parasites also. So not only these prebiotics are improving your gut microbiome but also saving your gut from bad bacteria and that's where bananas, especially unripe bananas, can be very very useful. The second food which is high in prebiotics is barley. Now barley is a grain which is not very popular but actually it is very nutritious because it is very high in fiber. 
it is high, very high in protein as well as it has very less amount of carbohydrates majority of the grains like wheat and rice they have very high amount of carbohydrates and they are very high in glycemic index so most people are avoiding these grains because they actually cause them to gain weight or they actually feed the bad bacteria while barley has the lowest glycemic index in all the grains and has the lowest amount of carbohydrates so that's the reason barley is very useful 2021 there was a research study published which shows that barley has the highest amount of prebiotic among all the grains and the prebiotic which is present in barley is called beta glucan and again we have several research studies which shows that this beta glucan supports the prebiotic level and that further supports the good bacteria in your gut so definitely include barley on the regular basis in your diet because that is going to be giving you good protein good fiber as well as is very low in carbohydrates the next food which is high in prebiotics is the legumes whether it is the chickpeas whether it is the lentils or whether it is the black beans all of them have high amount of prebiotics the prebiotic which is present in the legumes is actually called galacto oligosaccharides this particular prebiotic in several research studies have shown several health benefits from helping you to lose weight from feeding the good bacteria as well as improving your gut immunity so these prebiotics especially in these legumes lentils and black beans is very beneficial for your gut health and can definitely improve your gut health the next food which is high in prebiotics is shikri root so shikri root actually comes from a flowering plant and most commonly it is used as a coffee substitute because it has a coffee like flavor but it has several health benefits shikri root is very high in prebiotics they have a prebiotic called inulin in them shikri root are very high in antioxidant compounds that reduce inflammation in the body and research studies support that shikri root can also help you to lose weight as well as lower your sugar so if you're a diabetic that can be very very useful for you so consume shikri root for all the prebiotics that it has into it the next food which is high in prebiotics is onions yes onions are also super food which has a lot of prebiotics they not only have prebiotics but they are high in antioxidant compound called flavonoids as well as uh, they have antioxidant compounds also now the prebiotics which are present in onions are inulin as well as fos both of these prebiotics again lower inflammation in your gut as well as supports the gut immunity so again onions are good source of prebiotics please include them on the regular basis the next food which is a super food are apples you might have heard an apple a day keeps a doctor away and that is actually real because apples have so many health benefits apples are very high in a prebiotic compound called pectins and pectins in several research studies show that they improve your gut health the digestive health as well as the immune health of your gut so apples are really high in these pectins and that can support your gut health by giving this prebiotic foods to them now the skin of apple have other benefits it has an antioxidant compound called quercetin as well as also other antioxidant compounds that lower inflammation in your gut as well as lower inflammation in the whole body so if you eat the whole apple you are getting the good prebiotics as well as you are getting the antioxidant compounds also the next super food is garlic garlic has so many health benefits and one of the major health benefits of garlic is that it is very high in prebiotic inulin compounds we know garlic is not only high in the inulin compound but it is also high in several antioxidant compounds too which supports the gut health garlic has been known traditionally to improve the gut health by killing off the bad bacteria the bad parasites as well as the candida because it has anti parasitic compounds in it which can help to rebalance your gut so garlic is one of those super foods for your gut which not only feeds the good bacteria but also helps you to get rid of the bad bacteria and the parasites from your gut so make sure you're including garlic on the regular basis in your diet the next food which is high in prebiotics is oats yes oats is one of those grains again which has several health benefits oats are gluten free so if you are on a gluten free diet these are great options for you to consume a half cup of oats have up to 4 grams of prebiotics in them the major prebiotics in oats is the beta glucans and again as we have shared before beta glucans have several health benefits for your gut supports the gut immunity as well as keeps your bowel movements regular 
make sure you're not eating rolled oats but you are eating steel cut oats because steel cuts oats has all the fiber in them that has the prebiotics in them so make sure you're eating steel cut oats and they are not only a gluten free option but also a very good source of prebiotics so now you know the ultimate list of prebiotic foods that are going to keep your gut in good shape but let's talk about the dangers of prebiotics or are you over consuming prebiotic rich foods or for which people prebiotic rich foods might not be the best choice so as we shared prebiotic foods actually feed the bacteria in your gut for some people they already have too much of the bad bacteria in their gut and that condition is called SIBO which is the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth so if your symptoms of gas and bloating are getting worse after consuming the foods which are high in prebiotics then it's very important for you to get checked for SIBO. The next people who might be careful with prebiotic rich foods are people who have IBS issues. Again, people who have IBS can have bacterial overgrowth or they might have candida overgrowth or the digestive system is not good enough to process all of these high fiber prebiotic rich foods. So start with a low level of prebiotic food and see how your gut does. And if your gut is tolerating the prebiotic food and actually it is making it better, then these are good choices for you. So these are the people who need to be careful with the prebiotic rich foods. Otherwise, prebiotic rich foods are good for the gut health. And for majority of the people, they are going to support not only the good microbiome or not only the good bacteria, but also going to keep your gut in good shape, gut healthy, as well as your body in good shape too. So that's the reason prebiotic rich foods are very important to include on the regular basis in your diet because they are going to keep your gut healthy. They are going to keep your body healthy. I hope now you understand why prebiotic rich foods are important and now you know the list of the ultimate prebiotic rich foods. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye bye.